guys, my name is Cal, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to play I Can't Hear You by the Dead Weather. Uh, it's a great riff, it sounds really bassy, uh, so you're going to want to turn the bass up on your guitar, on your amp, uh, maybe the treble down a bit. I can't tell whether or not he's using an octave pedal for this, uh, because all the tabs that I found online said that he plays it like up here. Something like that, which doesn't sound right uh, when you're playing along with the recorded version, so I like to play it down a little bit different than the tabs, uh, so keep that in mind. But anyway, let's get into the song. Okay, so it starts off, that intro riff is actually played by a bass, but if you want to learn how to play it on guitar, it's pretty simple. It's just uh, third finger on the third fret low E string. Hit that four times. And then to the first fret on the A string, you hit that four times as well. And just alternate between those two. Then it goes into that main riff. Which is two hits on the low E string 3rd fret. Then to the 1st fret A string. Then to the 3rd fret A string. Then to the 5th fret A string. And then back to the 3rd fret uh, low E string. So... to the 1st fret low uh, A string again, then to the 3rd fret A string, and kind of hang on that note, um, and then it starts to sound like this. Then it does this, which is 5th uh, fret on the D string, to the 3rd fret on the D string, 5th fret on the A string, 3rd fret on the A string, and then either back down to the 1st fret on the A string, or to the 6th uh, the fret on the E string. It's the exact same note, it's just whatever uh, you feel comfortable playing. So all together. And that is the majority of the song is played with that riff. Now the chorus uh, sounds basically just these little solo licks that he plays in there. And the main riff is that, which is basically you're taking your first finger and placing it on uh, two different strings. So you're barring down two strings. Start with it on the 3rd fret G string, but then also hit the 3rd uh, the fret B string as well. So it's these two strings. And together it gives it sort of this chunkier sound. And you can give it a little bend as you, if you want to. Then go to the 5th fret on the, uh, the D string and the G string. And do that same little barring pattern with your 3rd uh, your finger this time. Then hit that again twice. Then to the third fret uh, with your finger, first finger barring down on the uh, third fret D string and the third fret G string. So. And then back to the fifth fret with those two strings again. So. Now some of the other looks that he plays in between here and there sound like this, which is just uh, third finger on the fifth fret G string to the third fret on the G string, and then sort of pull off with that. Uh, and pulling off, if you don't know, you don't use your pick at all. You pull the string down and then let it go. Uh, just like that. Um, and then there's one other part he does, which is the same riff as this. But you just leave out that first note, so you just play. So, sounds to me like this so far. Uh, 
Um, you can sort of just play around with that. Uh, it's basically just that pentatonic scale. <laughs> Um, but so you do stuff like this, so which is just a third fret on the A string, hammer on on the fifth fret A string, then to the third fret on the D string. Sorry, I did that in the wrong order. Uh, but yeah, th starts on the third fret A string. Actually, no, I did it in the right order. Ignore what I'm talking about. I don't know what I'm talking about. Basically, it all comes back to that main riff. Now, there's one other part where he goes all the way up to the uh, the 21st fret. Um, 21st fret to the 19th fret, so. Um, and he's also using an octave pedal for this part, so I just had to improvise. I think this is about where it, uh, where it plays, so it goes like this. Um, and aside from that, that's pretty much it. Let me turn off the phone there, I don't know why that was ringing. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it for the chorus, and then it just goes back into the... But again, with the chorus, you just gotta improvise and, uh, and figure it out. Uh, so that's pretty much it for the song, guys. That is, uh, you can sort of get the rest of the song through that. There are some other licks and solos and stuff that he does, but again, it's all centered around that pentatonic scale. Um, so you can kind of figure it out if, uh, if you know uh, sort of what notes to play. And basically the way that I do it is you just kind of hit some notes around that area and honestly just see what sounds good. As long as you have the, a basic knowledge of that pentatonic scale, it should be pretty easy to sort of improvise notes uh, and just try stuff out because I'm a big proponent of trying stuff because uh, if it fails, then you know that it doesn't work. And if it works, then it works. Um, but other than that, guys, hope you enjoyed this lesson. Uh, check out my channel for some more Dead Weather White Stripe stuff, and see you guys later.